fall, sun's out, and it's time to go swimming. Yeah. Finally trying the new for 2024 attraction at Hurricane Harbor, Rip Curl. He that, needs to do it. That was actually the first of many new attractions to open at Six Flags America in 2024. This opened back with the water park on Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. But I just have yet to have a chance to come check out the slide. I've and already so, rode it, thankfully. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> well, now it's my turn to finally ride it. So we're going to go ride Rip Curl. Also check out the water park and kind of show you guys around the Hurricane Harbor, which is the bread and butter of Six Flags America. It really is. A lot of the locals, when they come here, mostly they'll come here into the water park, especially on the incredibly hot and humid summer days. It is hot today, but thankfully it's not as bad as it usually is, especially no. compared to the opening day of Steamtown when that was about 98 degrees Fahrenheit. It's very hot. I think it's about 85, 87 degrees right now, so still hot, but not as bad. So we're gonna go check out the water park and we're gonna go catch a ride on Rip Curl. Yeah. Unfortunately, we will not be able to check out the event Viva La Fiesta as that is weekends only, which is quite unfortunate. I hope they eventually change that uh, down the road. Uh, same with Harbor Nights. Harbor Nights is also weekends only well, as well. It's so technically Fridays and Saturdays this year. Well, so. Fridays still count, but. Uh, I really hope that in the near future, I understand if Harbor Nights you can't do it as late because weekends it makes more sense. Uh, but at least for me, I guess I'm just unlucky because I'm not able to get weekends off this year. So I will not be able to check out any of the events because Six Flags America, like we just mentioned, that the bread and butter of this place is the water park. And so all the events that Six Flags parks do, instead of them doing it in the dry park, they actually do them all in the water park. So Viva La Fiesta, which is a really good event that happens in this water park, takes place around this area. Um, and then they do Harbor Nights, which is really cool. They open the water park till about 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. They only select attractions open, but still. And then they have like a DJ party right here, as you can see with the lights and the stage, along with some other fun stuff that goes on during the event. So it is unfortunate that I will not be able to experience that this year, but I have experienced it last year and it is a lot of, lot of fun. So if you're big in the water parks, the events that happen in this water park are some of the best that you can experience in America. Honestly, I know it was crazy coming here last year and not seeing Bonsai Pipeline, but now it's just even crazier to see a different slide here. Uh, for those of you that may not remember, this was actually supposed to be new for 2023. However, some complications came about when building it that they were not able to open it. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't even see any construction happening here until like August. Yeah, we saw the slide pieces in the parking lot back in June, but other than that, like, um, they, I didn't see anything being built until like August or something sort of like that. So it's just crazy to finally see the slide. So I'm honestly excited to give this a shot. This is still, uh, the only other Whitewater West Master Blast that I've done is the one at Great America. And I enjoyed that one. So I'm curious to see what a smaller one looks like. So another new slide to check out. Update, we've done a uh, rip curl. Yeah. That's really good. Such a good ride I'm here for this park. I'm so glad that they have this ride. It's so much fun. In fact, what's really cool is it actually gets better as you ride the ride. So like the first drop is really cool. First turn's a little slow, but that second drop, you start to pop out of your seat a little bit more. I'm like, this is really good. That second turn is really fast. And then that final drop is insane. Yeah, you get a lot of air time. Wow. Yeah. 
Helix is a little slow, but other than that, that's really good actually. I might like that a little bit more than uh than Tsunami Soaker at Great America. I gotta think about that for a little bit. Or Tsunami Surge, excuse me. Um, I think Tsunami Surge overall, like it has a really good ending. Um, but the drops are almost more intense on this one. They're smaller, but they have more of a bite to them. I got but, it. Uh, but uh, it's good. It's complete. I finally got him on this girl. It's yeah, I'm really happy. I'm. I, I don't. I don't think I will say which one's better. Uh, this one's just a lot smaller, but it, it's just as fun. So I'm really glad. And then especially when you compare what used to be in Real Curl Spot, this is a much better slide. So I'm really glad. Despite the fact that it went down three times while we waited in line, two were back to back. Actually went down four times, excuse me. Three were back to back, like one dispatch and then it broke down again. But so hopefully that works out. But other than that, that's, I'm so glad they got that slide. Besides that, we've done the wave pool, which is right behind us. We did uh, Paradise Lagoon, which is their activity pool. They got some slides there. And then we did Wahoo River. We did two laps around that. Taking a break real quick. We're going to go get some to eat. And then we got to do the rest of the trash in the Hurricane Harbor. All right, it's lunchtime, y'all. Now, uh, you know, it's a typical American water park. So burgers, which is what I got. I got a burger with fries. Uh, they got chicken tenders on the other side over here with the where the main food area is there's pizza But there is something unique that I find really uh, cool and that this hurricane harbor in Maryland sells fish and chips Which I think really fits the theme of uh, being in a water park. So Kaylee got the fish and chips. I got the burger. We also got some dipping dots We're gonna have a good time before the wind blows it off <laughs> a lot of fun that is such a good ride another ride i'm glad i got another ride on that that is so much fun mm -hmm. i think i will say that's my favorite slide here now I, at first i thought it was tornado but after a second ride on this i mean that's just that final drop you get so much air is absolutely nuts yeah. i think that's the most amount of air i've ever gotten on a single water coaster period mm -hmm. besides maybe mammoth that is absolutely absurd yeah it's insane with this you ride. fly on that drop. And that first drop was much better the second time around. It's the largest drop on, on them all, and it's it's a lot of fun. It really um, is. As much as I wish that these little parts were actually like luminescent, um, I think it's still really cool that the full thing is translucent. So you get you get a different style when you're inside there. Oh, so yeah, it's not as cool as the ones where it's actually lit up, uh, yes, but those. it's still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. And I'm really glad this came to Six Flags America because uh, yeah. This park needed It's it. a winner. Yeah. This, they have a great slide lineup here because you got this, you got Tornado, you got Half Pipe, and then you got Bahama Blast, which is very fun. And then Paradise Reef Runner are good classic tube slides. Shark Attack is pretty fun. Splash Water is a really good Whitewater West rainforest structure. They got a great Lazy River here and an old classic wave pool right here. Um, there'll be more for a review later down the road of Hur Hurricane Harbor here, yeah. but overall, 
It's a small water park, but it is a lot of fun. And I'm really glad that they got this to add to their slide collection. Uh, this is a really good. Definitely come check it out. Just recommend coming here on a weekday. Don't come here on a weekend, yeah. especially if you want to, don't want to wait a long really line for it. <laughs> yeah, never come to this water park on a weekend if you don't want it to be crowded. Well, that's going to do it here from Six Flags America, primarily Hurricane Harbor doing the water park. That was the main goal today was to do the water park. It really here. Was. So we got to do everything actually. I thought I was just mainly going to do Rib Curl, which we did. We did Rib Curl actually twice. That's awesome. Uh, we did every other attraction here. It's a small water park, but what is here is really nice. Yeah, don't and sleep on it. Especially with the events. I know I was joking about not coming here on the weekends to avoid crowds, but at the same time, there are special events that they do here are or only on weekends. during weekends. They're on Fridays though, so maybe you can get this away with that. First. I would say come here on a Friday, and the first thing you do is rip curl. Just get it out of the way, so that way you don't have to worry about the line later on. Yeah. I love rip curl. That's it's a really a good, good slide here. Uh, I mean, man. What a great year for this park. Yeah, you got a park. whole new land in Steamtown with a brand new ride in Nebula, which I did get to eventually try. We did. I, ha I did not get to film that, but I did eventually get to try it, and it's a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah, they run the ago. same cycle as they do the one at Hershey Park, so mm -hmm. it's on the milder side, but it's still a lot of fun. Really glad they got this um, at this park to begin with. So. Yeah. So yeah, and you got the new refresh Skywinder, Rapids, all that stuff. All the good stuff. Yeah, and then just adding Rip Curl on top of it. Maybe it's rather better that Rip Curl waited until this year because now it really feels like Six Flags really just scored this year on their 25th anniversary. Which happy 25th anniversary of this being a yes. Six Flags park. So for those wondering, this actually has been around for over 50 years now. Yeah. It's celebrating its 50th year this year technically as it was a safari in 1974, but it didn't become a true amusement park slash water park until 1982, yeah. and that's when it became Wild World. It became Adventure World in I think either 92 or 93. I cannot remember off the top of my head. And then Obviously, it was Adventure World because that's when Premier Parks took over, yeah. and then Premier Parks purchased the Six Flags Parks in 98. So in 99, this became a Six Flags Park, yep. and it's been a Six Flags Park ever since, and they're celebrating 25 years of that. My so. heart's celebrating 50. So yeah, that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the montage yeah. of Hurricane Harbor. It's a fun water park, and it's definitely the flagship water park within the D.C. metropolitan really area. Is a lot of fun definitely recommend checking it out especially if you're in the water parks and if you're just trying to find a good event here like if you like the six flags events if you're on over into the water park well if you want to take a break from the rides and roller coasters and enjoy viva la fiesta when it happens or harbor, harbor nights. nights tomorrow actually yeah. well yeah tomorrow from when we're filming this but anyway that's going to do it all here folks thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate if you hit a like button and subscribe if you have not done that yet and as always roller coaster fanatics keep, keep coasting, coasting.